Queen Naomi's best friend was in disbelief, as in she couldn't believe her eyes when Kabiesi and uh, his entourage stormed her, her, her mansion in Lekki. You know, information have it that uh, there is this particular lady that Kabiesi have known as Queen Naomi's very good friend. They said the lady in question is also a minister of God that they have been staying abroad, as in she and her husband and children, for a very long time. But due to the fact that they established their church here in Nigeria, that she have been, uh, they are now living in Lagos, uh, uh, Lekki to be precise. And ever since Kabi Esinu opened Naomi, that that is the only lady that he can say that this is Queen Naomi's best friend. Uh, apart from this uh, CEO Lumini, but that one is her designer. But this is the one woman that Kwenomi have also talked about around Kabiesi. So when Kabiesi uh, searched for Kwenomi everywhere and could not find her, she was thinking that maybe because Kabiesi have went to Lekki, Kwenomi's mansion was locked. Even that uh, that particular mansion that Kwenomi bought by herself, as in the first house she was living in Lekki before the royal mansion. They said Queen Nomi, uh, Kabiesi have gone there. That, pl that place have been rented out to another people. So, with all that, she, with all his search, he couldn't find Queen Nomi. He decided that maybe, maybe she is in the in this, uh, her friend's house. But I wonder why, oh, anyway, anyway, I don't know. They said when he got there, the lady was so uh, happy to see Kabiesi in his in her abode. You know, it is kind of uh, a very surprising thing to her that Kabiesi could come to her house. Kabiesi have never, never, ever, even when Gwenomi used to spend like a day or two in, in the lady's house, they say Kabiesi have never, uh, you know. So on seeing Kabiesi, she was shocked. And they said they gave him a royal welcome. And uh, even though he refused to eat, you know. Then the lady was surprised when Kabiesi told him that, um, told her that they have been looking for Queen Naomi. Nobody have known her whereabouts. And he thought that maybe she was with him, with her. And they said the lady told Kabiesi that even her, that she is surprised because for days now she has been trying to reach her, but couldn't. That the last time they spoke was during uh, around last week when while Konami was in the palace. That that was the last time the uh, she spoke with Queen Naomi. That for days now that she have not heard from Queen Naomi. Even there was is it uh, she said about a few days ago she tried reaching her, but couldn't uh, get to her due to the fact that her own uh, her phones were switched off. The second BSC was disappointed because this that place is his last hope of seeing Queen Naomi. Then there is this other news that I heard. Uh, maybe that incident have also uh, pissed KBC off that an unknown person have sent Queen Naomi's document with that of Tadenikawo to, to Queen Naomi's mother, you know? And if that information is true, and Queen Naomi have got, get, uh, gotten hold of that, I'll be getting hold of that uh, passport, the possibility that she must have traveled is there. I don't know. The second BSC was so disappointed when that friend of Quenomi told him that Quenomi is not with them. If Quenomi is there, nobody can tell. If Quenomi is not there, nobody can tell. They said after that, Kabiesi have to return back to Akure to go and beg Quenomi's mother. They said this time around, he was begging. Not the time he was kind of making it look like a, uh, he was shouting at Quenomi's mother that they must provide his son for him and all of that. That was when they said Quenomi told him that you cannot use because of the fact that Quenomi is carrying Tadenikawo, use it to frustrate her own daughter. 
that Dade Nikawo is your son. Nobody is dragging that with you. But Queen Naomi is her daughter. And Queen Naomi is not your property. You don't have any right to seize her or to oppress her. So this time around, they say she, uh, he went to Akure and was begging Queen Naomi's mother to please uh, tell him where Queen Naomi is or at least tell Queen Naomi to call him. Because... Uh, in as much as they said Queen Naomi is missing, nobody knows her whereabouts, it's obvious that her family know. Because if they don't know, they will be bothered. Because when the look of this, KBC is saying that there is no atom of uh, worry in them. They are not worried about Queen Naomi or they don't know where Queen Naomi is. We all know that they are well-knitted family. They are very closely knitted, you know. So there is no how Queen Naomi will be missing. They don't know and they will feel relaxed about it. No, it's not possible. They know. But the thing is that uh, they are fed up with KBAC and his stories. Because it is one day, one story. One day, one trouble. So when uh, KBAC was begging Queen Naomi's mother, Queen Naomi's mother told him that she doesn't know. I, I even They said when uh, he came, uh, Queen Naomi's mother thought he had come for the documents that someone sent to Queen Naomi's mother, you know. But unfortunately, that wasn't why he returned back. He returned back to come and beg the woman that he is tired of fighting, he's tired of anything, that this is going to be the last time he's going to learn his lesson, this and that. See, all of this story, eh? A lot of people are asking, especially this uh, Queen Naomi's friend, why will Kabi is looking for Queen Naomi like this? Is there something that they are not telling us? Because this is beyond uh, love. This is no longer about I love my wife or I love Queen Naomi, that there is more to this. But we all know that it's all about that covenant and the, the, dark, the so-called dark cloud of which anything can happen if they did not do anything about it. And Quinami seems to be the only solution for them. So it is obvious that he is looking for Quinami like this because he wanted Quinami to come and help him out and not because he so desired to be with Quinami or love Quinami or even Tade Nikawa, like some people are saying that the reason he is like this is because he have not seen his son. I, uh, why is he not demanding to see the so-called crown prince for him and the other adesina that they brought to him there so it's not all about that denikawu or that love but it's all about their so-called problem and whatever it is don't forget that these are all alleged information okay always bear that in mind give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video i love you guys bye see you